right, new product. So we are back in manufacturing, and Yay. the last quarter of last year, uh, we did our buy one, give one with Black Girls Code. Good timing. Lots of people are back. looking ways to support Black Girls Code right now. We already had this lined up from our previous years of partnership. And thank you, DigiKey, for helping out with this. But when you buy one on adafruit.com slash blackgirlscode, we send one to Black Girls Code. It's that easy. There's nothing else. If you're going to buy a Circuit Playground Express anyways, pick one up there and one goes to Black Girls Code. It's that easy. If you buy, so easy. If you buy five, they get five. If you buy ten, they get ten. Does it cost any extra? No. no. And that's the way we did it. So Yay. a lot of people, they're just like, oh, I'm going to pick up a Circuit Playground Express and oh, I can just if I buy one in this section of the website, yeah. then Black Girl could get one. So it's a Free. way it's a way for you to do something nice and a way for Black Girls Code, fantastic organization. And we do the sending for you. You don't even have to send it. Yeah, do anything. Okay. It's so easy. First up. Okay. We have um people are really love our D E nine D B nine breakout boards, so we added another one. Um, we have one with terminal blocks. Uh, this one has these like really nice little push connectors uh, to make it very slim but easy to connect to uh, breakout board. So these are DE9s, but they're often called DB9s. Um, so I call them both. Uh, we have both the socket style and the plug type, and I'll show them on the overhead. Do you want me to show the other one before I go to the other No, because it's a little different. Oh, I want to show these two. Yeah, okay, got it, got, okay. It, got it. All right. Okay, so this is what I got. So we've got... Um, the socket and the plug, and then of course, you know, you can plug them into each other if you so wish, but usually you have like a serial port cable or like, you know, one of the matching cables that are off the shelf. Um, and, uh, they're good for, you know, a couple hundred feet sometimes, uh, depending on the kind of signals you're sending. And then this just breaks out every pin for you. And, um, these are little spring connectors. So you see here, I can pull it back with my fingernail. Or you can use like a screwdriver and then you have a wire you put the wire in and then you let go and the wire is like super solid so you don't need a screwdriver you don't need like a terminal block you know sit there and screw it on or to remove it um, you want to remove it you just pull it back again and you pull the wire out so it's a nice solid connection you don't need any special tools um, if you have a fingernail you can use a, you know a thin screwdriver or a pen there's even a little divot here to make it easy to do the pulling back. Um, so again, both styles, break it out. People are using these all the time. You're connecting to like old equipment or you just want to reuse these old uh, nine pin D sub cables. This is the best way to do it. Okay. Okay. Next up. Next up, we also have basically the same thing, but like ethernet. Um, again, you've got these nice little spring contacts. I'm not, you know, I, I, it, this one, it only comes in the socket style, um, cause usually you use it with an ethernet cable. So again, I will show it on the overhead the demo. So it has the standard ethernet, you know, cat five, cat six connector. And then on the back, you've got the spring plug, uh, terminal block. So you, you pull back on the orange bit, uh, you stick your wire in and then you let go and the wire is super, super solid without needing do. No. Now we're on this. to the breakouts. Okay, so the first breakout I've got here. Hold on, I'm gonna get my demo. It's sorry, it's hooked between this cable. Okay, it's free now. Um, we've got uh, this LSM 9DS1 breakout board that's now available in a Stemma QT format, a one inch by 0.7 inch. Um, we're still gonna stock the older LSM 9DS1 breakout, but there's enough people who are like, well, I wanted a STEM IQT version for easy plug and play. You have um, these two sockets on the side that provide I squared C. You have two mounting holes. And um, but we break out basically every pin, so you can use I squared C or SPI for the LSM 9DS1. So let's uh, show this on the overhead. I've got it hooked up to uh, my STM32 F405 Feather. Um, and I've got on this OLED, I've got accelerometer. Autofocus. Um, we got accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope data. So you get all nine degrees of freedom out of one chip. So it's very handy. People really like the LSM 9DS1. It's um, you know nice and stable. You see when I put it down, um, the gyroscope is is zeroed out, um, and the accelerometer, magnetometer data is nice and 
um, stable. So um, I like the LSM 9DS1. It's handy. It's all in one chip. Um, so check it out. We've already got code for um, Arduino and CircuitPython and Python for it. So if you want to use this with any microcontroller or microcomputer, it will be very easy to do so. Okay, and the star of the show tonight besides y'all, the community, the customers out there, everyone who's supporting each other and also who's trying to make a difference. Besides all that, we also got this product. Yes, we have uh, the SHT C3, and then we made this in a STEM QT format with a nice little cutout. Uh, it's a very simple but effective humidity and temperature sensor. It's got 2% um, relative humidity um, accuracy and 0.2 degrees centigrade, which is quite good. Um, usually you don't get good temperature accuracy with uh, humidity sensors. Usually it's kind of like iffy. Um, but this one, you get good both. And it's very simple. It's you know, The chip only has four pins. We just do the level conversion for you. Um, again, we've got um, Arduino and uh, CircuitPython code. Uh, and you can see here, it's you know you can get the uh, temperature and humidity if I breathe on it. Um, it reacts nice and fast um, to the breath, which is both warm and humid. And um, yeah, it's very inexpensive. You just plug and play it onto any board that has a STEM QT connector or this this Featherwing prototype, which has one too, and uh, get temperature and humidity data out. Yeah. Very nice. All right, and with that, there's new products. That's new products. <laughs>